Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. After the induction of Rafale into Indian Air Force, it has gained attention worldwide. The reason is that Indian Air Force ranks 6 in the world as per Global Power Index with 1,645 aircrafts in service. If an Air Force with such a strength is selecting a fighter jet, it must be best in class and it's been true. Rafale is best in its class. Well, we all know that it is, but the question is how? What makes Rafale so special and deadly? If these are the questions bothering you as well, please stay till the end of the video and we will make it crystal clear. There are two most important features that make a fighter jet stand out. First is electronics and avionics and second is its weapons. Now if you have to compare Rafale with any other fighter jet, it would be Su-35. Su-35 is highly maneuverable with better engine electronics and avionics than Su-30. In 4th plus generation, there are no other fighters which are better than Rafale and Su-35. Egyptian Air Force has conducted a test on Rafale and Su-35 and the Rafale version we are talking about is F-3R which is operated by Indian Air Force as well. In the test, Su-35 was playing the role of aggressor against Rafale. However, Rafale's powerful spectra electronic attack was able to jam Su-35 bar face rear radar. Not once or twice, the radar of Su-35 got repeatedly failed against the Rafale's spectra electronic countermeasure system. Another interesting fact about this test was that Rafale was able to jam Su-35 from a distance of approximately 100 kilometers. Now imagine Rafale entering into fight with Pakistani or Chinese fighters. None of them would be able to come closer to Rafale and would be jammed and destroyed from 100 kilometers away. One Rafale, just one of them, will be able to clear the entire Pakistani airspace. After reading this news, I felt proud and happy and hope you would have the similar feeling. However, then I started doing little research on Rafale's spectra system. What makes it so special and outclasses all the other electronic countermeasure system? In the next section of video, I'll be talking in detail about the spectra countermeasure system and you would be totally amazed after knowing it. Also, this is going to be most detailed analysis of spectra that you can find on YouTube. A spectra is a self-protection equipment countering threats to Rafale aircraft jointly developed by Thales Group and MBDA for Dassault Rafale fighter aircraft. It provides long-range detection, identification and accurate localization of infrared homing, radio frequency and laser threats. The system incorporates radar warning receiver RWR, laser warning and missile approach warning for the threat detection plus a phased array radar jammer and a decoy dispenser for threat countering. This phased array radar jammer was the one which jammed Su-35 radar during the test conducted by Egypt. Rafale has three radar detectors with 120 degree range coverage against air inlets and at the top of the fin. It has three laser warning detectors, two under cockpit and one at the top of the fin with 120 degree of coverage. Rafale has two infrared missile launch detectors DDM at the top of fin. DDM has been designed to provide Rafale fighter self-protection system with an advanced missile warning system covering most of the sphere around the aircraft. In particular, it provides capability to detect man pad missiles by detecting their burning engines. These capabilities enable Rafale to have multi-spectral threat warning against hostile radars, missiles and lasers. Apart from this, it also provides superior situation awareness to the fighter jet. Spectra has capability to perform signal intelligence and electronic signal intelligence mission. This is achieved by a three jammers, four top ejection decoy launchers and two straw lances. A spectra has accuracy of less than 1 degree and a large database for identifying the received signal and launching the corresponding countermeasure systems for it. A spectra also includes a dedicated management unit for data fusion and 
reaction decision. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.